You're excited, you've got your new Android phone, you've got your SIM card, now you want to connect your Android phone to your SMS -ed account. Here's how. You're going to go to your decentralized dashboard and there you'll see a button that says get started. Click on this button and look for the little Android where it says connect my phone SIM card. This will take you over to the gateway. You'll also notice this Android that says SMS at gateway. It's the same place. There's more than one reason to use the gateway. So either button, if you click this Android and go to the gateway or this Android connect my phone SIM card, it will take you to the SMS at gateway. So over here is your dash gateway dashboard. There's a link to the cPanel. There's a link back to the decentralized version homepage. That's a little home, your profile and devices. Ah, there's that little Android again. So we're going to click that in just a moment. What I would do first, if I were you, would be to go to the gateway API. Now I've covered my API because it's mine, get your own, but this is your API key. You're going to copy that and store it someplace because you're going to need it in about three minutes. Uh, so make a copy of that. But in the meantime, we need to add the device first. So you're going to go back to devices, click devices. Now my mine is in here already. So, but what you want to do is to click add a device, this button over here. So once you click add a device, this pop-up will pop up pop up will pop up so you this at this point you want to be on your phone so I kind of transferred the thing but I left this up on my computer screen because I need to you need to scan that QR code later from your Android phone but first you have to download the app and that's why you need to be on your phone at that point because you're going to download the latest version of the app from here. Here's the button you're going to click to download the app on your phone. So open your phone, get to this page, open this add device pop up, and then tap on here to download the SMS at app. Do not go to the Google Play Store and try to find the app. It's not there. This is where you find it. So download it and install it on your Android phone. Now, if you're not familiar with Android, there is a guide that you can click right here and that will take you to another guide. But I have to tell you, it's, I have an, I'm an iPhone user. This is the first time I've touched an Android phone. I know some of you are gasping, but it's super simple. Download the app and install it. Once you open the new app, you'll have to click next and yes and allow and all the permissions that you have to do until you get to the login window. Once you're at the login window, you're going to tap the little sign in using QR code. I'm going to use that button. Now is a nice time to have this left up on your computer screen because then you can just pick up your Android phone and scan this QR code. This QR code will connect your account, your app, your decentralized, your gateway, and it'll pull them all together. So now you have added your Android phone to your SMS at gateway. Now we're going to link it through to the cPanel. So click on this, the link gateway to the cPanel, and that will open this page. Now this is where your gateway API comes in handy because it's going to go right here. Your a API key is cut and pasted there. Your decentralized email address, whatever you use to establish your SMS account, will go here. And the phone number of the Android you're holding in your hand, that will go here. Where did you put the Gateway app? That is what is going to go here. And then you're going to click, click Connect Gateway. And that will tie everything together. Now one tiny step I left out. On your app, on your phone, there's going to be a pinkish colored play button on the bottom right hand corner. You're going to tap that play button to start the services. That makes all your messages go faster. It bypasses the queue and the something else. Basically, it's just going to speed up your sending. So if you didn't copy and paste your gateway uh, API key earlier, there's a button right here. It says to locate your gateway API, you're going to click here. So go ahead and click there if you didn't, and that will take you back to, here it is down here, the gateway API, and there's your API key. So you can copy your API key and then go back to the cPanel to paste it in. So if you saved it 
and copied it and saved it someplace before we got to this, you won't have to do that. But if you didn't, then that's how you get back to the gateway so that you can get your API key uh, just by clicking there and then that'll take you there. Then once everything's all connected, then all you have to do is go back to home, back to your decentralized version, and everything will be all connected. You can go down to messages, and I always start with send a single message. And you go in here, just say manually, type in your uh, phone number of not the phone you're holding, but a different phone. So I about typed in my phone number, I'm so used to typing it, you type in your personal phone or your partner's phone or, you know, best friend's phone and send test messages to that one. And then you can do your templates or whatever. But that's how you start is you start sending out a test message to yourself to make sure you know how you're going to use the merge tags, how you can pick a file and connect a link, um, how you can use templates, how can, you can use splash pages, etc. And that is how you connect your Android and SIM card to your SMS-ed account.